Hi, my name is Katie Hutchison, and I am a reference librarian here at the Wayne County Public Library. And today we are going to be making cocoa banana pudding cake in a mug. So my family consists of myself, my husband, and my daughter. My husband isn't much into sweets, so when I make desserts, I tend to end up having to throw some of it out. So imagine how excited I was when I found this book, 20, 250 Best Meals in a Mug, uh, available here. And that meant that I might not have to throw desserts out. I can just make them for myself and my daughter or whatever we're feeling like it. Now, to make this cocoa banana pudding cake, we are going to need a few items. You're going to want a mug, cooking spray. We're going to need two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, two teaspoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, a large egg, and half a cup of a very ripe banana. So let's start with our banana. I am going to peel it. And we want one that is very ripe, so you can tell this is very brown. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and spray my mug with my cooking spray. And then I'm going to start smooshing my banana. I've put it in here. We want it to be really almost liquidy. Our mushed up banana. All right, so uh, we have our banana in here. We've sprayed this with cooking spray. That's going to keep the cake from sticking. And now we want to add two tablespoons of our cocoa powder. We want two teaspoons of sugar next. This is just granulated sugar. We also want a pinch of salt. I actually have one of these little things from a fast food joint. It's a pinch of salt. And now we, go in, we need to go grab our egg. So give me a second. I'm going to go grab my egg from the refrigerator. All right. Now I am adding our egg. And this can all be done in the mug. So I'm stirring this all together. And we want it to be blended and smooth. It's actually going to look like cake batter. Looking very pudding y already. Now, for the chocoholics out there, you can also, um, at this point, sprinkle in a tablespoon or so of chocolate chips uh, over the batter before baking. Might be two tablespoons. <laughs> All right. Now that we have this together, we are going to microwave this on high for 60 to 90 seconds. We're going to check it after 60 seconds. When it's done, we want the center uh, puffed up and we want it to be set. So let's go ahead and microwave our pudding cake. 
Well, I microwaved my cake. Uh, it did take about 90 seconds. You can actually see that uh, the sides have kind of come away from the edges, which now I know for sure that this is done. It smells amazing, and I can't wait to eat it for lunch. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Again, you can find this and other recipes um, that you make in a mug with just a microwave, no stovetop, stovetop needed, and 250 best meals in a mug. All right.